What's up, YouTube? We are back for video number two, My Tank, My Stuff. Uh, the first video, it showed us unboxing these fish. It showed uh, their measurements, showed where we got it from. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. All right, now uh, people wanted reviews of how my fish were doing, and they wanted to, uh, to know what was going on with them. Well, I have eight success stories and two not-so-good ones. I have uh, my Eureka Red pretty much a month after I got him or so. Man, he, he just took a turn for a worst for a long time. And I mean, I he fought and I, I tried to help him fight. I tried every medicine I could get. I tried garlic in the tank. I tried water changes. I It just went on and on. He really didn't eat much. He got a fungi, uh, fungal infection. I tried everything I could. and. That guy just didn't make it. I mean, it kind of sucked, but you know, whenever you get into this hobby, you're gonna have that. The one I'm super upset about just happened last week. My red shoulder, he passed away, and I'll be honest, guys, if you see a fish acting weird, acting different right away, take him out and put him in a quarantine and start treating. Because that red shoulder, he was the dominant male inside this uh, tank the whole time and I seen I worked and I seen one day he was acting a little bit sluggish next day he was hurting man and by the time I put him in the quarantine tank they were he was just too far gone he didn't make it a day and he didn't make it 10 hours past that so uh, if you see your fish starting to struggle man take them out do something because more than likely they're not going to last uh in, in there, once once these fish see that one, the dominant male especially is getting getting weak and getting picked on a little bit, they're relentless. They are relentless, and they they will take them down. But uh, that's those are the two bad guys, and and it, it sucks to say, but eight out of ten, that's eighty percent. You know, it's uh, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good rating. But it would have been nice to keep the hundred. All right. All right, guys. Uh, well, this is what I have left in here right now, and believe me, there will be more, and there will be another, at least one more unboxing. I don't know if I'm gonna get six or ten. We'll see. I don't know, but it, they are gonna come much sooner than later, boys. Anyway, since the red shoulder uh, passed away, this blue dragon blood has taken full control, and I'll be honest. Man, he's a butthead. <laughs> he he fights people and he instigates fights. And he chases people, but I'll tell you what, he is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Um, that lemon jakey, as you can see, very healthy. Um, the uh, blue regal, he's nice. The flavescent, he's good. There, man, this guy over here, he's hiding. He never hides. He's all the way up behind that uh, the power head over there. That's the uh, red top lawanda. Uh, he, he's pretty aggressive too, but other than that, oh, the OB, he's actually coming out beautiful, but, um, but yeah, uh, everybody's happy and healthy, but I'll tell you one fish that I'm really not that impressed by at all, and he's taking the show right here, the red dragon blood, that's a red dragon blood right there, fellas, male, he has not grown at all, I feel, and Man, it almost looks like he has a little bit of sunken belly right now. So, I'm going to medicate my whole tank with some uh, general cure. And uh, when I do that, I'm going to just uh, show you how I do it. Because this is 75 gallon tank. For general cure, I would need seven, I would technically need eight packs of general cure to cure my tank. So, I'm going to show you a cheaper way to do it. I don't know if it's as efficient, but it has to be pretty close. Um... So uh, let's let's uh, get to that. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how I how I do this, and I do this about every about once a month, you know, just to try to clear out their their systems. I uh, dose them with some General Cure. Um, I put a little little bit of water in the bottom of a cup, not much, and then uh, I put some food in there. And just wing it. Uh, let's put a little more now. Whenever you get get this, 
I take my general cure and I dump it directly into their food because that's what what this is for it's for internal parasites so if you put it in their food and they are just digesting uh, this medicine look and let it sit there let it sit there for uh, 30 minutes or so and also whenever you do this you should do this whenever you buy a new food or something because put your put just a little bit of food inside a cup with water and see how much that the food grows Okay, because people feed 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 their fish, but then whenever they put it in water, a lot of food actually swell up and get bigger. So it looks like your fish is eating this much, but really in their stomach, that you know those red pellets you know swell a little bit. So it's actually more. You could bloat your fish by overfeeding, and that's what a lot of people do. They don't get that uh you know the food swells in the water. Uh, just another little little uh, piece of advice. I would not put flakes in here. If that's all you have, I mean, I guess you can, but it gets a globby mess, and it's just, it's it's not good. Now, I'm going to let this sit for probably uh, 30 minutes or so, let that medicine uh, soak into the food. I'm going to keep on stirring it up and, um, you know, letting all that medicine get in there. And uh, I'm going to feed it to them, and you can, you'll still be able to see. My fish still eat uh, pretty well. Uh, they... They don't really mind the medicine in there too much. Um, but yeah, uh, that'll be the next. We're going to let this sit for uh, 30 minutes or so, and we'll be back. All right, guys. So this has been sitting out for much longer than 30 minutes. We kind of just went outside, played. Uh, beautiful Midwest summer we're having. But uh, as you can see in here, the consistency is definitely thicker. You know, and that's what you want. I mean, really, I don't know if you can keep it in here for too long or not, but if you ask me, the longer the better, just because uh, it gives the uh, medicine enough time to um, to soak in the food. So I've been coming over here a little bit, look, trying to get my fish a little, a little wild up, make them want it. And as the blood, uh, the blood dragon is, uh, is, the targeted fish, so I'm really gonna try to just dump it where it, that guy can get whatever he wants to get. Look at him; he's they're eating. They don't they don't really care. Let's let's watch him. That's ho hopefully I see. I already know that he grabbed one or two, but all these little ones on the ground got it too. They're used to it floating. Whenever you put this medicine in, it sinks. So they're 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 looking for that food up top. But once they figure it out, it's on the bottom. This uh, this this blue uh, dragon blood over here is loving it. He's picking up every piece. And everybody else is just dumbfounded. Don't know <laughs> where, where the heck the food's at. All right. All right. So I do that about once a month. Uh, it'll cost you about twenty bucks a year to do that. I mean, that's not really that much whenever, you know, you're talking about these, you know, cichlids in there. So, you know, like I said, I do about once a month. Uh, there's 10 packs that, that come inside that general cure. So if you do do it once a month, you got to pay buy one more, you know. It's it's not that big of a deal. But uh, that that's just what I do. Hopefully that helps you and uh, your fish. That's, that's just a little fish tip from a guy with a fish tank. Anyway, on my last video, I did not have this power head in that corner and I'll be honest guys that thing is a game changer if you don't have one I recommend looking into it it uh, for one the fish fish love the current in there these cichlids don't mind that that currents in there they actually seem to like it more than just uh, having the, the output of the filter um, that is a Sun Sun like 790 so it's pushed like almost 800 uh, gallons uh, an hour and let me tell you something it makes my tank much more clear much more uh, clean it, it helps out so much uh, it only thing is there's a couple more dead spots there's gonna be dead spots in any tank you know unless you put a bunch of power heads in there but you don't want to be whipping your fish around um, so yeah there's a couple dead spots still but really after I get my siphon I know where they're at I can suck out those nitrates pretty quick and uh, just 
just do my water change. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend you at least look into it and uh, see if that's something for you. If you have a smaller tank, uh, don't go don't go that big. But this 800 gallon may even be a little bit too small for this 75. Uh, but I mean that's up to you. But that Sun Sun is it's it's a great investment. So uh, that's about what I got for you guys today. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. You know, I do appreciate uh, you guys coming and checking out the video. Man, I got like 900 views, over 900 views in uh, three months. And you know what? I appreciate that. I uh, never expected that, to be to be honest. But uh, pretty cool. Um, I will put a couple more videos out. One will be another unboxing because I am going to get more uh, more fish but I'll be honest I'm a bit hesitant because whenever you throw out uh, like I mentioned in my first video uh, whenever you uh, buy these fish they send you 10 of pretty much what they have you know so I know there's a bunch of us uh, uh, all right so uh, you know they they pretty much send what they have and yeah it's like I, I bought 10 from them so now I'm super sketch that I'm going to get uh, repeats. But I think that I'm going to take that chance. And uh, if I do get uh, fish I already have, uh, then I think that I might just, you know, go to a, a cichlid swap or something like that and maybe uh, trade them out. But uh, I'm going to make that video as soon as uh, they come. And also, if you guys are interested, I'm going to try to color up one of these, one of these more non-dominant fish. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'll I'll put I'll I'll put a video in there of one of one of these fish. Whenever he was way younger, half this size, he had great color, and now he's in there with nothing. So uh, maybe I'll shoot that and see how that goes. But I appreciate you guys for uh, stopping by again and uh, stick around for a couple other videos.